Hi, I'm Craig Heighton with Georgia Transmission Corporation. We're a not-for-profit utility that plans, builds, and maintains the high-voltage electric transmission lines for Georgia's electric membership cooperatives. These EMCs serve nearly half of Georgia's population. And our job is to provide a robust transmission grid to bring affordable and reliable power to those 4.5 million EMC members. One way we keep our power grid strong is by building new transmission lines when needed. We know the need for a new power line can raise questions. Concerns over aesthetics and outages caused by severe weather sometimes prompt community leaders and customers to ask about burying transmission lines. For most projects, we examine the feasibility of underground construction. But high voltage power lines are very rarely installed underground for three reasons. Construction costs, the line's life expectancy, and repair time during outages. Unlike the lower voltage distribution lines that deliver electricity to homes and businesses and are often buried, high voltage transmission lines are very expensive to bury. Underground construction can cost five to eight times more than above ground transmission lines and ratepayers will have to absorb the extra cost. The primary reason for the increased cost is the specialized construction technique required to build lines underground. Crews must dig a trench every foot of ground on the route, and every 1,200 feet they have to install truck-sized concrete vaults underground where lines are spliced together. It's a complex and costly endeavor. Underground lines not only cost significantly more, but their lifespan is less than half as long as overhead lines. Underground cables must be replaced every 30 to 35 years, compared to 70 to 80 years for overhead lines. Many factors, such as water seepage and loss of insulation, affect longevity. Underground lines are less prone to weather-related failures, but they're certainly not immune to outages. And when outages do occur, it can take a week or more to locate and repair the problem underground, compared to only a few hours for overhead line repairs. Outages can affect tens of thousands of customers, and longer repairs mean more time without power at your home or business. At times, burying transmission lines make sense, in fact, of the 17,000 miles of high voltage power lines in Georgia, 25 miles are underground lines. Responsible use of underground lines is one way we keep electric power in Georgia more reliable and less expensive than the national average. At Georgia Transmission, we work with communities to find the best possible solution when new lines are needed. It's part of our commitment to build and maintain a reliable power grid for businesses and families across the state of Georgia.